What? What, what, what? What the hell is this? Harumph, 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 harumph. I didn't get a harumph out of that guy. Give the governor harumph. Harumph. You watch your ass. I see you shiver with anticipation. Let the show begin. Hey, hey, everybody, this is David Heretic coming at you with another edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. And tonight. Tonight! Okay, making their debut on the channel tonight. Tonight! We have Unknown Mortal Orchestra. Yes, indeed. How about that? Unknown Mortal Orchestra making their debut on the channel. Before we go any further, for those of you who are feeling inclined to doing all the clicks and the likes and the bibbity bibbity bop, do me a favor, before you do all that stuff, please watch the whole video first, okay? Give me a chance to actually earn those clicks and likes. Now, after the video's done, if you still feel like doing all those clicks and likes, then by all means, feel free to click away. This comes as a request from Sean O'Grady, and Sean wanted to see me react to this song. It is Unknown Mortal Orchestra with a song called Honey Bee. Now, have I heard the song before? No, I have not. To the best of my knowledge, this does not resonate with me in any way, shape, or form. However, there's always a possibility I may have heard the song in passing and I just don't realize it. So as always, if I start listening to the song and I suddenly go, Wait a second. You have got to be kidding me. I recognize this song. I'll let you know. That's the truth. You know me, I'm going to be honest with you guys. This was posted by WFUV Public Radio. Okay. And the video has 35,144 views. It'll get you there. Other than that, there's really nothing else left to say. A link to the original video will be down below in the video description for your viewing pleasure at your leisure. Let's get started. What do you say? Are you ready? Are you ready? Because here we go. All right, here we go. Unknown Mortal Orchestra, Honey Bee, live at WFUV. Cool. All right, let's do this. All right, boy, let's do this. <laughs>
it's good. It's good. Um, I'm not gonna sit here and say it's great, but it's it it's good. Um, I'm not hearing anything displeasing to the ear. I'm not hearing anything that sticks out like a sore thumb. Everything sounds very conducive. Uh, the mix sounds good. The quota progression makes perfect sense. Um, notational selection, uh, the melodic lines all sound good. The drum pattern, the feel of the song feels good. Everything across the board sounds good. I, I like what I'm hearing. Is this impressive? <laughs> no. <laughs> this, you know what this reminds me of? This song kind of reminds me of, uh, shoot, I don't remember who made the, who made those songs. When I was in high school in jazz band, we had these tracks that you could you could buy them from the uh, from the distribution company, uh, and they were basically known as solo tracks or, or uh, solo over tracks. And basically, what it was, it was, and it came with it, it was the, <laughs> back in the day when we had cassette tapes or CDs. You could order either one, and they would come with the sheet music, and you would put it in, you would play it. And it would literally be just the chordal progressions. It would be like, you know, it would be a piano, drums, bass. Sometimes there would be guitar, and that would be it. It would just be rhythm section playing these chordal progressions. And you could get them pretty much in any key you wanted, any type of feel you wanted, any type of style that you wanted. You could get these, pop in, your, pop in the CD or the tape, whichever one you had, put the sheet music in front of you, push play, and then you could sit there with your trumpet, your sax, your guitar, your bass, uh, you know, your trombone, whatever it is you were playing in jazz band, and your, your, your piano, and you could solo along to this. And you could, what the whole purpose of these things were, were to develop your soloing technique and your ability to play solos and to make you a soloist, you know, to work on your solo. I use them all the time. I know people thought I was nuts until my junior year when I started getting bass solos. And people were like, what? A bass solo in a high school jazz band, what? Yeah, I got a few. It was nice, uh, it was fun. I looked forward to those songs. And uh, it, was, it was a lot of fun to play with. And one of the reasons that my, my soloing skills got better was because of those tapes and those CDs. Um, my, <laughs> my band director ordered a few and he actually just gave them me and said, take these home, work on it. And I was like, you got it. <laughs> but this kind of reminds me of it, that the, 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 the feel of this, the, the instrumentation, and more importantly, how the instruments are being played very sparsely, very openly. Um, bass and drums in particular, really locking in with each other, but not overdoing anything, not overplaying anything. The keyboard player, not overplaying anything. Guitar, not overplaying anything. Just everything just feeling very reserved and very much uh, relegated to the back. It just like, it, it feels like there's this open void that needs to be filled. And right now, vocals are filling it. But if you take out the vocals, you could put any instrument in there and you could solo along to it. I could hear a sax solo. I could hear a, I could hear a flute solo. I could hear a trumpet solo. Actually, more than a trumpet solo, I, I could hear like a flugelhorn solo. I could hear a trombone solo. I could hear a guitar solo. I could hear a piano solo. I could hear a bass solo. <laughs> I, I could hear a lot of things happening in that. It's well structured. It's well organized. It's well executed. It's just not impressive. You know what I mean? But it's it's solid. It's absolutely solid. Um, let's keep going. Let's see how this goes.
See, that's what I'm talking about. You take out the vocals, and you have this void that needs to be filled, and it was filled, in that case, with a guitar solo. So that's what I'm talking about. Everything else is stripped down. Even the guitar playing is stripped down when the vocals are happening. So that in this case, it would be like the vocals are the solo. You take out the vocals, there's this void that needs to be filled, and they filled it with a guitar solo. As soon as the guitar solo was over, the guitar player went back to that sparse style of playing, and the vocals took over again, right? Look, there's nothing wrong with that. I'm not, I am not criticizing that at all. I think it's really cool. Um, I think it's really cool that they came up with a song like this to be able to show off vocal ability or to be able to show off the guitar solo when it was the guitar's time. But everybody else is playing in a very stripped down way as to not take away from whatever the solo voicing might be, whether it be vocals or guitar. I think it's cool. Um, I think they're doing a really good job of that. So let's keep going. Let's end this and uh, we'll get to the review. Yeah, I mean, it's not bad. It's not bad. It's actually, it's good. They did a good job. Um, yeah, I, I dug it. I was in the groove. It felt good. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't have any complaints. I have no complaints at all. Um, it is what it is. And... It doesn't try to pretend to be anything it isn't. So, gotta give him credit for that. Let me get my thoughts together. Um, there's really not going to be a whole lot to talk about, if I'm being honest. This is probably going to be a pretty short review. So, let me get my thoughts together. I'll see you in the review, and we'll talk about it. Well, there you go, folks. That was Unknown Mortal Orchestra with Honeybee. This was a request from Sean O'Grady. Okay, um, this is gonna be a short review. I, I, I can promise you. I don't know exactly how short, but it's gonna be, it's gonna be under five minutes. I, I can guarantee you that there really is not a lot to talk about. So, let's start off with the score. On a scale of one to 10, I'm gonna put this right in the middle of the really goods. So I'm gonna give that a 7.5. Yep, 7.5. I feel good about that score. Let me tell you why. Why? This was interesting. Um, kind of brought me back to my high school days in jazz band of, you know, working on solos. You know, those those tracks. I think they were called Metzer tracks. I think that's what they were called. or I don't remember what they were called, but you would order them from this publishing company and they would send you a cassette tape or a CD, and that was like 10 to 12 tracks, whatever, and then it would send you the sheet music of the chordal progressions, you could follow along and you could read it and you could work on your soloing. That's exactly what the song sounded like. You take out, you know, the vocals while the vocals were singing, you take out the vocals or when the guitar player was soloing, take out the guitar and you're left with the rhythm section. Man, it was wide open. And the reason for that is because the drummer, the keyboard player and the bass player in particular, all three of them consistently through the entire track were playing very sparsely, very open, um, just bare bones playing just enough to keep the chordal progression moving um, and leaving everything else wide open for whatever's gonna fill the void. If for the most part, it was the vocalist. And when the vocalist was doing it, you had, the, you had that sparse guitar playing fitting in exactly with what everybody else is doing. When the vocals stopped and the guitar solo came in, it 
solo. It was playing solo lines, complete, far more active than what was happening uh, while the vocals were playing. But as soon as the guitar solo was over, it went back to that sparse style of playing with the vocals then taking the lead. I thought that was really cool. I thought it was really well done. I think it was absolutely solid. Would I say impressive? No, I would never say impressive in a million years, but solid playing from everybody. Definitely had that kind of soul feel to it. You know, that 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 like Motown feel to it. It felt really good across the board. Um, but other than that, honestly, there's really nothing else to talk about. Um, it was just a really good job across the board. Vocals did a great job when they were soloing and doing the vocal lines. But ultimately what this really came down to was the band as a whole um, and their style of playing for what they were doing. Not overplaying, I think is the biggest thing I took away from this, um, which was important. Could you imagine if the piano player just decided to go aggro during the entire song? What a distraction that would have been. It would not have worked. So, no, I think it's a really good job. I think the song is solid. I think it's a, a solid approach. Um, I think the division of work and workload amongst all the musicians was very well done, very, very well organized, um, and nothing distracting, nothing to take away from anything else within the song. Everything fit like a glove. So, no, it's a really good job. A really good job, really good song, which is why I'm giving it the really good score of 7.5. So, 7.5, final score, I have spoken. Well, that's going to do it for this edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. Hope you all enjoyed the show. Hopefully, I was able to entertain you. If I was able to put a smile on your face and brighten your day, then I did my job, and I'm so glad I could do it. If you guys feel like joining the fan base, go ahead and click on that button down there. If you guys want to like the video, go ahead and like the video. If you guys want to ring the bell, go ahead and ring the bell. It honestly doesn't make any difference at all to me, but if you guys feel like doing these things, then by all means, feel free to do so. Well, that's going to do it for tonight, folks. Thank you very much for watching, and as always, this is David Heretic signing off, reminding you to stay fabulous and support each other. Later. Peace.